and welcome to my channel. My name is Sam and my channel is Practically Posh Life. I'm here to do a quick video on what's in my toddler and preschool daughter's Easter baskets. I have two little girls, Adriana and Isabel. Adriana is three and a half and Isabel is one and a half. So this year it's mostly non-candy items because they're still a little bit too little and they're not really that interested. So I thought I would just film what I've put in my daughter's Easter baskets just so that I can look back and so many of you who are looking at last minute items or planning for next year or just enjoy watching Easter basket videos um, might enjoy this. Both girls Easter baskets came from Target and I bought them last year. They were about $10 a piece um, and the intent was to be able to reuse them every year and they've held up very well. They don't use them for Easter egg hunting. They have a plastic pail type of Easter basket that they use for that. But um, I can jump right in and tell you what's in each girl's Easter basket. Start with my older daughter, Adriana. This is her Easter basket. Both girls have the same items in their baskets, maybe slight variations, but the exact same items. I have learned that with girls that are 20 months apart, just get them the same thing and you will save your sanity. Okay, so I have this little bath sponge. It's a little bunny. I have a little Play-Doh chick with Play-Doh in it and then a stamper at the bottom. And both of those items were for from Target and they were in the Easter basket section where all the Easter eggs baskets and things to put in baskets were. I also got a water bottle and this is the Contigo water bottle from Target. It's $9.99 and with summer coming up, my kids drink a lot of water. This is gonna come in handy. So, and it's just an adorable little pattern with elephants and it's pink and it has a pop top. Got an Peppa Pig plush, and it's an Easter plush. She's wearing a little chick on her dress, um, and this is about $5 at Target. I have flashcards, and this was at the Dollar Tree, and they're just Pooh's match, number match, so it has pictures and words, and you just have to match everything together. I think that'll be a great learning activity for my preschooler. Plastic lensless glasses. My girls love to wear goggles, glasses, any kind of glasses around the house, but oftentimes if it's sunglasses or goggles, they have trouble seeing, so they have to take it off and they get frustrated. I thought this would be fun for them to play dress up and feel like they're wearing real glasses, but it won't impact their vision when they're inside. A bubble wand. Easter's not complete without a bubble wand, so I have a Peppa Pig bubble wand, and this will be great for my toddler who's in that phase of I, I can do it myself, but she really can't do it herself. So I think that this will be a great item for her because I believe she can just hold the wand and run and the bubbles will come out. At least that's what I'm hoping. Otherwise, it's going to be an exercise in frustration for the both of us. But either way, she's getting bubbles for Easter. And then I have this Peppa Pig Magna Doodle. Now this is awesome, uh, A, because it's Peppa Pig, so the girls are gonna be thrilled, but it also allows them to draw things and make the items disappear. So they just need to move this car, and the car will clear the screen, and then they have little stampers here that come out, and you can stamp the screen with it. So I just think they're gonna love it. This is great to bring with us on car trips, and great around the house, and I think they'll really um, have a great time with it. And it was $8.99, and I got this off of Amazon. I have a Peppa Pig surprise egg, and inside of this particular surprise egg um, is a candy bracelet, spring candy mix, chewy lemon heads, four stickers, and a bonus surprise toy. And my understanding is that the bonus surprise toy is a Peppa Pig keychain that they can hook onto their little purses or their little backpacks for school. So um, it is a Peppa Pig surprise egg. They're probably not going to get to eat the candy out of this, but I think they're just going to enjoy opening up a Peppa Pig egg and seeing all the colorful treats inside. They, they aren't going to notice if the candies disappear. They'll enjoy the stickers and the toy um, and the candy bracelet and probably not even realize that it's candy. All right. And then last but not least, I always put a book in their Easter basket. This year I did Pete the Cat's Big Easter Adventure. And this is our first Pete the Cat book. My daughter um, at preschool reads Pete the Cat books all the time and loves them so I was excited to get her a Pete the Cat Easter book and that is everything in my older daughter's basket so now on to the little one Miss Isabel so same thing I'll go through this a little bit quicker because a lot of it is the same she has the same um, play-doh stamper but hers is a bunny rabbit instead of a chick she has a chick bath sponge, 
also from Target in the Easter section. She has a little purple water bottle with a pop top, and this will be fun for her because this is going to be her first bottle with a straw. So it'll take some getting used to, but I think she's going to enjoy it, and quite frankly, she's just going to love having the same thing as her big sister. We have the Peppa Stuff plush with the um, chick on her dress. We have blue plastic glasses. So I think she'll love these, and I love the fact that they're toddler sized and they're durable feeling. So I think they'll enjoy being able to use these and it'll fit their face a little better than some of the glasses they find around the house and try to put on. And these were off of Amazon. It came in a box of six and I believe they were five or six dollars for the whole pack of six different colors. Then I've got colors and shape flashcards. I got these at the Dollar Tree and um, I think this will be a great learning toy for um, my one and a half year old. We have the Peppa Surprise Egg, the Peppa Magna Doodle, the Peppa Bubble Wand, and I got the Peppa Bubble Wand at Toys R Us, as well as the Peppa Surprise Egg. They were both right up front when you walk into Toys R Us in the Easter section, um, so they were pretty easy to find. And then her book is Peppa's Easter Egg Hunt. And they share books, so quite frankly, these books are for both of them. Um, so that is what is in Miss Isabel's book. And then they both um, have a, I will quick grab it and show you. It is called 365 Bible Stories and Prayers. I try to incorporate something um, that ties to kind of the real meaning of Easter for them each year so that they don't forget what Easter is really all about. Um, so this year there were two books that I ordered um, that are not going to get here on time. So I'm going to, so I went to Ross and Ross had this for $5.99 and I liked it because it has literally 365 stories and it has all the Bible stories in it, but it's uh, worded in a way for toddlers that I think they'll appreciate the colorful pictures and the stories. So this is something that's not going to go in their basket, but they will probably get the night before and we'll start reading some of these stories. So I thought this was cute. Um, some other things I've done in the past is like a My First Bible or the story of Easter. Um, so this year it is 365 Bible stories. And again, I got this one at Ross. So that is everything that are in my daughter's Easter baskets. Hopefully you found this helpful. And inside the basket is just kind of the yellow grass. This is the same grass from last year. They Once they get the toys and stuff out, they're not interested in the grass. So I don't buy new grass every year. I just let them use the same one. Um, and that seems to work fine. Um, I'm also going to upload another video of what non-candy items are in my girls' eggs as egg fillers for their Easter egg hunt. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. I will try to get that up today as well. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching and I'd love to hear any ideas, things that you've thought of for your kids' Easter egg baskets or what you think of some of these ideas. Um, and if any of you have channels with um, what's in my Easter basket um, videos on it, please let me know. I'd love to check it out. I love watching these videos, so I thought I'd put one up. And again, if you've got any recommendations, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful Easter holiday.